Right, so we are back in Cape Town. Um, I've brought my friend Claudio over here from uh, Chile. He's um, joining us for a hunt here. And obviously we've got Gerard and Rulf who's behind the camera from Air Hunters and Eugene from Egan Nut in South Africa. And um, yeah, we're just gonna have a blast. You've seen some of my videos here from last time where we shot starlings, pigeons, um, sparrows, the, all the works, pest control on the farms. And we're gonna do the exact same thing today. And yeah, it's gonna be Welcome awesome. Back. Thank you, thank you. And my, uh, it's good to have my friend Claudio here. Nice so, to have you here, my friend. Yeah. Welcome to South Africa. Yeah. So, with the with the formalities done and dusted, let's head out and let's go. Got let's go pigeons. open our account and, and get some pigeons down. I see one landing over there already. So, <laughs> it's going to be good. Well, there you go, sparrow down. This camera takes a while to set up, but the, the quality of the footage is amazing. So in a sense, it's worth it. It's a worth a trade off, I think. And if you look down there, there's pigeons flying in. So we're just gonna wait for them to settle. And now that I've taken a shot, we're gonna let someone else take a shot and kind of rotate. So for a little bit, it's like over. Little. Oh. Wow. So yeah, does the job all the time. 50 foot pounds. Shooting with the 26 grains slugs today out of the FX. And uh, yeah, shot tells it all. Yeah, they were solid from the side. Uh, they didn't kick, they didn't flap, just straight down. <laughs> Gave it a tiny bit for the wind. We're shooting pellets out the Vulcan, so there will be a little bit more wind drift. Held probably a centimeter for the wind and killed him perfectly, smashed him, perfect. The wind isn't too bad right now, but I know that Cape Town can be notorious for its wind in the summer. So we're kind of making the most of the early morning calm. Um, we know it might not be as easy later on in the day, so we prepared for it. I mean, with, uh, with these slugs that we're shooting now, they cut through the wind really well. But it's still something that we need to take into account and it still can be really difficult. So we're definitely going definitely to make the most of the next few hours and hopefully get down as many as we can. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so 91 meters on a pigeon, I hold about three quarters of a mil. And I think I hit him high body or head. Because I saw him flapping a bit as he tumbled down, but perfect shot. I hope I got it on camera. I think I might have pressed record a little bit late, but we'll see. Perfect stuff. Oh, I nicked him. Did he go down? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, 91 meters. I just shot a pigeon up there. Starling came in. I gave it a little bit less for the wind because I felt it died down a bit. I thought I just nicked him like a bit of feathers or something, but apparently he went down. Other guys are watching, so really happy with that. Um, good start to the day. I basically, I'm using Rulf's gun here with his slug barrel. I brought my own scope, which is set up because Rulf's shooting at similar velocity to me. So I could plonk my scope on, zero it, and use the same numbers here, and perfect. <laughs> 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 
Never gets old, eh? Never. <laughs> Same story, just to repeat again. So. <laughs> It's always amazing to think that something like pest control can bring people together from all over the world, create lifelong friendships and even become a livelihood. I've been doing this for almost 8 years now but it's great to see the new kids on the block racing into the headlines and I'm stoked to have my neighbours from down the coast joining me on YouTube. I'm sure there will be many more collaborations to come. Headshot. I decided to go for a headshot there, following Claudio's example. And um, nice and close, so pretty easy. Crosses on the head and pull the trigger. Very happy. Headshot. <laughs> Nicked it. Yeah. Yeah, so that one just, I think it just went straight over past the neck. There was a little bit of a breeze of the wind from the right. Um, yeah, so I just nicked it, so I'll get it next up. So yeah, nailed that one from the side. Big thumb and a lot of power and it just can't get over to the other side, so very happy. Whoa, just over the neck. Over it? Yeah, he turned broadside on me, so it made it very difficult. And this 18 grain pellet shooting a pigeon through the wing never works out well. So you need the slacks for those. Seventy-one meters, perfect shot. Popped nicely, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> Fantastic. Sweet. Go back to zero. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Gave it half a mil for the wind, a little bit for the wind and took a shot. I was 68 meters and there's a bit of a decline but I dialed for 70 and aimed for the back knowing that if it traveled a bit up I'd still get a neck or head shot so perfect that's what you want to see. That was a tricky one because I had to rest on this pole here and I was kind of shaking a bit but I'm not trying to boast but I think my standing shooting is actually better in, in comparatively speaking than my prone shooting. I actually don't consider myself as a good prone shooter, I'm just too shaky but I've learned over the years, I did 10 meter shooting at high school and I've learned how to um, time your trigger pull well so a shot like this is something I'm, I'm probably pretty good at. So. Um, yeah, fantastic to get that down. It could have gone the other way and could have been really bad, but yeah, 84 meters and just dialed it on the scope, dialed to 85 and took the shot and straight down. Happy. Acabo de dispararle a uno a 60 metros. El primer tiro se me movió eh, un mildo hacia el lado. En el segundo corregí hacia el lado y fue un tiro perfecto. Headshot. Perfecto.
Oh. <laughs> close. That was very close. There's definitely a breeze from the left to the right. Ready? Oh, got him. I don't know how solid that was. I didn't hear it clearly from, up from that far. But I saw some feathers, 130 meters. Um, yeah, happy to connect with him. I think I'm starting to, after a whole year of using these slugs, I'm starting to get a good feel of how much they're going to drift at different ranges. Um, yeah, so very happy with that. I must just remember when going past one full revolution on the scope to bring it back to zero, because <laughs> that could be really bad if I forget to do that. Yeah, that was a pigeon on 25 meters. A lot of power, does the job well. So we're gonna keep on moving, it's nice and hot now. It's around about midday almost. So uh, yeah, we're gonna keep on tracking, keep on following these pigeons around. Good. The nice thing about um, South Africa is that we have quite a few pigeon and dove species that are completely unrestricted. We can shoot them all year round, no bag limit. So while we are able to shoot the feral pigeons and, and the rock pigeons, we can also shoot the, the doves that nest in these trees around here. They also eat the, the feed, same, cause the same problems, but it's a different kind of hunting. They sit in these bushes, um, they're very difficult to spot, so it's more of like trying to like, look for them and sneak up on them, whereas the pigeons, it's like they're out in the open. So it's different kinds of hunting. Um, yeah, they have different behavior for the two different species and it's nice to get a bit of variety and do a bit of a walk around sometimes and look in the bushes as well. The wind left to right. Yeah. Wind left to right. I've got, yeah. I'm recording as well, mate. And there's another one right below. <laughs> oh, that's a good feeling. Two sparrows in a row from 70 meters, a hull just left edge of the bird. Perfect. Did you shoot it? I just got it. <laughs> and I said to him it's going to happen. <laughs> How far? Uh -uh. No. Oh. I knew it's going to happen. I said to him. Look yeah. now. So explain to the camera what just happened. Right, so. Well, what was your range there? Uh, 190 meters. Okay, well, look. Matt of them just took a shot on some house sparrows on the other side. And I said to the guys here, yeah, I'm going to try to make a shot on this side, 190 meters. Took the first shot, it was a miss. Rolf made, went over with the rifle to the, after with the camera to the other side and I took the second shot. Nailed it, <laughs> went straight down. And I've got a guy next to me who witnessed it as well. So yeah, pretty big didn't catch it. Yeah, we're really camera. upset right now. Like we, <laughs> so we've been sharing a scope cam. Yeah. Uh, when I shoot, I take it off. You know, when he shoots, I put it back on, you know. <laughs> So if we had two, we would have got that shot on camera, but... Well, at oh least well. we got it as a memory, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Eugene was the bypass. <laughs> <laughs> Cinquenta y cinco metros. Oh, qué lindo tiro. Se movía para allá, para allá, para acá. La esperé hasta que. I watched that slug kill and the light was perfect so I could see it go dead straight. This is a good barrel, shooting very well. Perfect. 
So yeah, that one worked out perfectly. And there was absolutely no wind, so I kept it dead on. Even right behind the neck, just above the shoulders. Tipped over, job done. At this point we decide a change of scenery is needed so we head down to the dam in search of a guinea fowl for Claudio and although we do see plenty they just don't want to come within range. In fact it might be more accurate to say that they Usain Bolt away from us the moment we get within about 100 meters so eventually we decide to move on to a different spot. We drive about 45 minutes to the farm where I filmed with Gerard and Roof the previous time I'd been out here. And although we do get a few opportunities, it's a classic case of just being completely outwitted by a very cautious and very alert bird species. Claudio probably spends an hour trying to get close to one, and finally, just before we're about to leave, he gets an opportunity. Oh, that's a goner. Mi primer guinea fowl, más conocido como gallareta en Chile. <laughs> oh, fue un tiro perfecto. Avanzó unos par de metros, pero lo pudimos abatir. Wow, es impresionante. Muy bonito ave. Guinea fowl. <laughs> it's been a fantastic day with plenty of bird shot, but more importantly, quality time spent with the guys. We'll be heading out again for round two the next day, so subscribe to check that out and be sure to watch the behind the scenes vlogs of our tours around Cape Town on my other channel linked below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.